This is a man's world But we won't quit This is a man's world She who dares wins Hello, welcome to This is a Man's World. Today I want to talk about engineering mistakes and why you need to own up to them. Now, I know what you're thinking. Michelle, 15 years worth of experience in construction and you still make mistakes. You bet I do. Yep, that's right, because I'm only human. Um, today I wanted to discuss with you guys about engineering mistakes and why you should own up to them. Um, I deal with mistakes a lot differently now to what I did when I was a lot younger and so I want to ex like share that experience with you and discuss why it's super important that you own up to your mistakes. Um, if you haven't already hit subscribe to this channel, your support means everything and go ahead now, just real quick, be super honest and go and write in the comment below an engineering mistake that you have made. In fact, it doesn't even have to be an engineering mistake, just go and put a mistake down in the comments. I want to read them. I want to read the real bad ones. Yes. And I will, at the end of this video, promise to disclose my biggest engineering mistake. So stick around to the very end and yeah, I'm going to disclose all. So engineering mistakes, what are we talking about here? I'm not talking about huge, massive, disastrous mistakes. Thankfully, I've kind of not made any of those in my career, but they do happen. Normally you find in construction that huge disastrous mistakes, for example, I once heard of a bridge that was being lowered, so it had already been constructed and it was being lowered into place, um, and there was a big event surrounding this lowering of the bridge. I've never constructed a bridge, so I cannot comment on this, but when they did it, it didn't reach where it was supposed to, and basically was a huge embarrassment. Um, I don't know what project this was on, but I was told about it and I thought it was hilarious. The chief engineer that was in control of that project probably, um, well, probably just wanted to curl up and die, to be honest, um, understandably. So yes, I'm not talking about those huge things, but I'm talking about on a daily basis, uh, hopefully. We don't make mistakes on a daily basis, but you know exactly what I mean. Firstly, let's discuss why we make mistakes. Well, construction is fast-paced. We already know this. There are so many things going on. Plus, you've probably got things going on in your personal life, um, things that are happening that, you know, are getting in the way of work, because as much you try and and as much as you try and block that stuff out, it creeps into everyday life. Now, it doesn't matter what role you've got in construction. You're going to have a lot of things to remember. It's just one of those things that happens. And with that, you either forget something or you drop a ball. Not physically drop a ball, but you drop the ball, I think is the correct term. Uh, this has happened to me. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now one of the mistakes that I made last week which has prompted this video. So I was doing some drainage and we were going from one manhole to another manhole and I was working out levels, level difference, and then calculating a pipe laser grade to give to the lads. Now I am normally pretty good with staff and levelling and I check and double check everything because I'm like super paranoid. It's one of the things that I think if you've been an engineer that you can appreciate is that you get super paranoid over levels because there's a lot that can go wrong and it can cost a lot of money. So anyway, I was happy with what I'd done. I set up the pipe laser, um, all was good. And on this particular job, I was working one day and then off the next onto another project. So I wouldn't be there to double check things as they were going along, which is what I normally like to do. Anyway, I went home, I went to bed, I slept, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. Yes, there's probably loads of you out there that also do that and went, shit. Um, I think you made a mistake with the levels and the grade. Now, one thing that happens all the time is sometimes you wake up when you're on a project and you've got that many things going on and you're like, oh no, I made this huge mistake and the reality is you didn't. It's just your mind telling you. Um, or at least, in fact, my mind does that for me because it's super nice. Um, so I kept myself calm. I didn't panic because at the end of the day, there's nothing I can do while sat in bed at three o'clock in the morning. I thought, right, I'll get to site and I will work through whatever problem there is. The worst case scenario, this is important, I always run through what the worst case scenario is. It's not life or death, 
but it could be quite costly. Um, and it wasn't going to be a huge issue. So that's it's just more of an embarrassing thing from an engineer when you get anything wrong. Well, from anyone, I guess. So I got to site. Now, here's where there's a little interim story that I want to share with you guys. Um, the days prior to this incident, I had been reading a book that my brother shared with me. And the book is called Extreme Ownership. I will kind of put it here. There we go. Um, and I'll put a link down in the description. And it's all about taking ownership of your own mistakes and accountability. And this book has blown my mind. And I highly recommend anyone out there in any field, doesn't matter what industry you're in, read this book. Because for me, um, it just opened my eyes to everything about you know business management, even working in engineering, and how you can conduct yourself and more importantly owning up to mistakes and dealing with things and gaining respect from that. So with that in mind I was reading this book and then I went to site and I saw the project manager for the job and the first thing I did was uh, I made a mistake on the levels for the manhole. Without even checking it I just meh, it just <clears throat> just all came out and I was like wow that's good of you, Michelle. You don't even know if you could cover up that mistake. Something I used to do in the past. Not really. Maybe once or twice. Ah, okay, we won't even get into that. So I um, told him. He was like, shit. Um, so we both stood there and went, shit. Um, <laughs> then the guy who was laying the pipe came over. This is a really convoluted story, I'm so sorry, but the guy came over and I explained the situation and he said, no, 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 you couldn't have got it wrong because I actually um, measured the level and checked with the spirit level that all falls were okay and everything seemed to match. It didn't seem to match exactly the fall that it was supposed to have, but it, there was fall. So, in my mind, I had made a mistake and in true form, I had made a mistake, but it didn't massively affect the project and it didn't massively affect the pipe run. But the most important thing is I owned up to it. And then I went further and owned up to the design engineer and I said, look, I made the mis this mistake. Is it okay or do we um, keep what we've done? Um, how do you feel about this? And he was like, yeah, there's no problem. Um, it makes uh, no difference. Uh, I'm glad that you told me, but everything is okay. And obviously I felt good about this. So from going from a mistake and feeling horrendous to feeling... I'm not going to say good, but I'm going to say okay. Now, the reality is, like, 10 years ago, early in my career, I would have been mortified about this. And um, I'd have kicked myself, I'd have been panicking, I'd have been sweating. I probably would have tried to cover it up by, like, seeing if it was really bad. And then if it wasn't, just on my own accord, being like, do you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it. It's going to be buried. No one's going to know about it. Um, I should add that I've never actually made those huge mistakes in the past. But... That's from my youth. Now, um, after reading this book, uh, most importantly, but also, secondly, just with age, I have realised that not everything is what it seems to be. And no matter how bad you think your mistake is, uh, there's going to be people that can help you out. So don't panic about it and own up to it. Because actually, after owning up to it, there's going to be a lot of people that might badmouth you and say, oh, I don't know what they're doing or they made this mistake or... but. The reality is you've shown ownership and if people can't respect that humans make mistakes and um, that you then ha are big enough to deal with that mistake afterwards, then that's their problem. It's not yours, but you are only human. So that is the little story from last week. Now, like I said previously, construction is a fast-paced environment. You can't kick yourself for making silly mistakes with, you know, maths levels. It's just one of these things, it doesn't matter how long you've been in engineering, mistakes are made. Uh, the one thing that you can do to prevent from making mistakes is check and double check and triple check. Um, that is something that I always try and do. Sometimes you don't get enough time for it, but hey ho that's life it depends what kind of project you're on um so yeah just wanted to share that little bit of story with today in the insight and also about the book please go ahead and read it it might really help you out don't be afraid to own up to your mistakes oh yeah 
Oh, I almost forgot. I was going to tell you about my biggest mistake. I think I've discussed this previously, but my biggest mistake was around seven years ago, I was on a project and I was building, uh, or I had some guys building a brick wall for me. And uh, the temperatures got below, I think, minus two. And we had to push the project along and I was told to keep them laying bricks. But in my own mind, I knew that I should have said no because mortar doesn't set in temperatures below, I think, five degrees. I'm not a bricky, so please don't comment on this. Anyway, uh, the brick wall was put up and then we caught, poured a concrete floor and the brick wall fell down. Brick wall fell down, concrete spewed everywhere. It was the biggest catastrophe of my engineering career and one that actually haunts me to this day. Um, but I did own up to the mistake and was just like, it's my fault, I should have put my foot down. Um, and yeah, tell me, like I said, go ahead and write in the comment section below. I wanna know your biggest mistakes and whether you've owned up to them or whether you've hidden them. Hmm, it's not good if you hide them, but I know people do because I've come across mistakes other people have made. Uh, thanks for listening folks, hope you enjoyed this short little fun video and I'll be back soon, take care, bye bye.